Good evening, West Shipping Enthusiasts and Newbies. Welcome into the rabbit hole with Cal Shaves. Uh, about a month or so ago, I had a chance to go to an event here in Moncton at the Coliseum called Turner's Christmas on the advice of a buddy of mine, uh, Nick Simpson. There was a vendor there, uh, uh, Olin Penna. He is from Luther Leather from uh, Charlottetown, Prince, Prince Edward Island, Canada. And he makes uh, this product here. Uh, now, what I subsequently did is I offered a Christmas giveaway. Um, the winner would, by random draw, would get to pick one of Pet or one of uh, Owen's products, and that winner was 87 Sherwood from Petawawa, Ontario, Canada. And thank you to all the guys who participated. Now, this product is a lot different. So, what I'm doing tonight is I'm just going to do a quick lather demonstration. Uh, I've done two videos with this previous. The first one, and my videos aren't tested beforehand, you you know, what you guys see is what's in the raw. You know, there's some editing, but I'm not testing the hell of these things before I use them in advance. So, the first video was a mess because I overwatered the heck out of it. The second video I did in my three razors, one shave video just a couple weeks ago went a lot better. Anyway, the winner, 87 Sherwood, got a hold of me there a few days ago and said, you know, we got it in the mail, he's very happy with the one he picked out. Actually, he picked out the one called Charcoal. Uh, the scent notes on that are, and I've got them written down because I've got a short memory here, uh, sandalwood, black pepper, clove, vetiver, and mandarin. And it is homage to the chimney sweepers of uh, years gone by, of London. And he was asking me about the leather, because like, this is a three-in-one product. Uh, I know some guys use it as a pre-shave as well. Shave soap, aftershave, moisturizer. The lab you get from this is so much different than what you get from, you know, other wet shaving type soaps. Um, so we're going to just do a quick demonstration. Um, this particular one is called Thieves Oil. Uh, it comes in a 12 ounce tub. Uh, the particular scents on this one are eucalyptus, cinnamon, clove, lemon, and rosemary. Love the scent of this stuff. So, as you can see, a very very soft soap. By the way for this video I'm actually sitting down in my bathroom not there in front of the sink. Um, so we're gonna give this a try see how well it works on mic see if I can trip over the cord and we're gonna try this using two different brushes. I'm not gonna do a full shave video with this I will another time but I've already done two so this is not part of my regular shave videos. So what I'm going to use tonight is a synthetic Believe it's a 24 millimeter. I got this from Richard C. Otter in Ontario, Canada. The handle of this is just gorgeous. Again, ca camera phones just don't pick these up. The beautiful detail in it. So we're going to be using that as a demonstration. And the skull, we've got another one of my favorites. It's a natural. Samog 830 boar hair. That's been soaking for a few minutes in hot water. So. We're gonna do this. I am overdue for a shave, like I said, I'll do another shave video afterwards. So, just gonna show this kind of works. Like I said, I've only used a couple times. But all I'm gonna do, like I said, this is clean, dry. I'm gonna run it under the water. I'm gonna try and tilt it down a little bit so you guys can see what's going on here. Now you guys can't see everything, but so. Now, what I told 87 Sherwood is that from what I see of this, and I will post the details from the Etsy site, you're not going to actually get the big, rich, thick lather. This is actually going to be more like a paste, I find. So, like I said, take this, and I'll go, you know, I'll uh, add water as I need it. So, I'm just going to take this, maybe put a little bit more water in my brush, take this. And just not try to bowl lather. This stuff I don't find bowl lathers very well. So you just mix it. Just load your brush like you normally would, right? If you're doing a bowl lather or face lather, you would normally load your brush. So that's what we're gonna do with this. Gonna get a little, it's a little dry. A little bit more soap in here, a little bit more water. lather my face up like so I'm not gonna do a shave video with this uh, this time around I'll do it another time and like I 
inside. Got a nice paste on there. A little bit more water in here. Actually, this is the first time I used a synthetic. I should look to see what I used my other the other time, but I believe I used a, a badger last time. Like I said, got a nice little build up on there. So that's the synthetic, and I will add that in just a minute. So next, Samog eight thirty. Just shake the water out of it. Drain excess water out. You said take that over. Like I said, a lot of guys that want to swirl in, do circular motions when they lather, you can do that with this stuff, but to exfoliate, yes. But I even talked to Nick, Nick Simpson about it. Mostly, I find painting it on works best. Now, like I said, it's 12 ounces, but because of the way that it works, you're not going to get, you know, a normal shape soap is, uh, is uh, you know, 4 ounces, so it's not going to go that far. But, get that on there. Okay, so we're just going to do a lot up and just see how this works. Going to wet my face. So, I'm going to do... Like I said, you don't have to have a huge, thick, pillow wheel lather to get a great shape. It's all about slickness, it's all about cushion, protection, protecting, protecting your skin from the blade. Now, I use straight razors, I use single edge razors, I use double edge shave vets. I'm starting to learn and get more comfortable with shave vets. And like I said, that is just fine. Like I said, that'll be just perfect. So, let's go to the synthetic on the other side. So, the Richard Sea Otter. And I'm, I might just put a bit more water in here, just a bit. That's still a little on the dry side. Like I said, just kind of work at it. The first time I use this, I overwatered the hell out of it. And I had soap all over the place. I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit more water till I get it to a nice consistency that I'm happy with. Except in my experiment, and you know, the couple times I use this, I found painting it on worked so much better. So just gonna keep adding a little bit more water. I just don't want to overwater like I did last time. If you need to go back and load up again, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, stuff's inexpensive, right? It's easier, as you know, they say with any type of soap, be it something like this or your tallow based soap, something like that, it's easier to add water than it is to take away water. So just go real sparingly on the water. Like I said, I had soap all over my shirt, dripping all over the place. So, anyway, some old 830 on this side. You know, nice and slick. Really nice and slick on that side. You know, synthetic on this side. You know, it's not the big pillowy, you know, peakies that you see in other soaps, but it's got a nice slickness. You know, that's gonna provide, you know, some nice protection on my face when I take a when I take when I you know take a blade over it. So um and like I said, what this soap is designed to do is after you're done shaving with it, the idea is not to rinse it off like you would do other types of products, is that you would actually massage it. it you know, imagine that I'm done shaving. You would take the residual, you know, take the residual that you've got out of your brush. You would actually just, you know, Work it into your skin as a moisturizer as your aftershave. You know, like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not a, obviously a shave 
uh, 87 Sherwood was asking me about it. He found it was really thin. The one time he tried it, just a few, actually just, he just got in the mail a few days ago. So I told him I'd do a quick video. And I'm not sure what the length of this video is so far. We're up to 10 minutes, so we'll have to cut that down a little bit. But anyway, that's just a quick little demonstration. So guys, I really hope you uh, take the chance. Check out Olin's Etsy page for Luther Lather. He sells uh, several different soaps, or several different types. Like I said, this one is Thieves Oil. Uh, I don't have don't have them written down off the top of my head. Actually, yes, I do. Just give me a sec here. Flip through my notebook. Because, like I said, if I don't write stuff down, I'm at that age where I don't remember anything. So there was Thieves Oil. There was uh, Campfire Tobacco. The Charcoal, which 87 Sherwood got there, bought from there, or got from there on the draw. Uh, walnuts and scotch pine and wintergreen. Now some of these are year round, some of these are seasonal scents. So anyway, definitely suggest you checking them out. It's a completely different type of our product. I hope this little demonstration has helped explain the type of lather you use with this. And like I said again, my thanks to uh, Nick Simpson for turning me on to this. And I uh, hope you guys take an interest in this. Um, I will post a link to Olin's Etsy page um, he sells those. He also sells a horse hair brush as well, and you can buy them as a kit. Uh, I haven't used a horse hair yet. Like I said, I haven't had any experience using horse hair, so I want to wait and try that off camera. But uh, anyway, hope that guy helps. By the way, I also want to mention, 87 Sherwood is a hell of a guitarist. He does have his own YouTube channel. I don't think he's posted anything in a long time up there, but guys, if you love guitars, you know, heavy, you know, heavy guitar. Uh, covers. It's just, uh, yeah, he, uh, his first name is Dennis, and uh, he's just an amazing guitarist, so strongly suggest you check it out. I will post the link up above whichever my shoulders, and also down below in the description, so. And uh, we'll catch you again very soon, so, um, yeah, you guys take care. If you have any comments, suggestions, good, bad, and different, please don't, uh, don't hesitate to uh, comment down below. I appreciate reading them, and uh, the interaction with you guys, it makes it so much fun, so. Wait, I hope this has been helpful. You guys take care. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.